supplications that we make to Allah, also known as dua. We all make dua. We all ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because definitely He is our creator. He is the all-powerful. He owns absolutely everything. And we always need to ask Him. How should we be asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What, is he, what does He say about it in the Quran? Where supplications are made mention of in the Quran in order to highlight the importance of the words of the Quran. And as we commence, we should realize one thing. And that is, even the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they called out to Allah. Even the prophets of Allah, they called out to Allah. Even the angels, they call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should always be calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another issue that is very interesting. Why are the supplications of the prophets, may Allah's peace be upon them, mentioned in the Quran? There are many reasons. One of them is to show us that they used to call as well. The other is to show us the wording that they used. They used powerful wording. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to make mention to us the wording that the prophets used and those words were accepted and over and above that they were granted whatever they asked for, subhanallah. Which means if you are to use the same beautiful words that have worked in the past, there is a greater chance of the same word working inshallah. It is like a combination lock. Obviously the example I'm about to give you is slightly different, but just to bring it close to our minds. If you had a lock which had a combination made out of three figures, and you started trying, you didn't know, but you thought you were clever listening to the click and the tick. And every little while you think, right, I think it's a three here. Then you go to the next one, I think it's a two. Would that work better than a person who comes to you and says, listen, I know the combination here. The reality is you would be a fool if you did not want to listen to that combination. Because that which has already worked to open the lock in the past... It is better for you to use the same combination. There are some combinations, maybe they tell you, look, I will give you 20 sets of combinations and inshallah, one of them will work. So you try all 20. You would be much more intelligent if you tried those 20 than to start from 000 and go all the way to 999. It might, it might be one of the last figures and who knows, your luck might run out. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So these words of supplication in the Quran, they have been used by people better than us and they have worked. So this is why it is important we go through them and we try and memorize them in the exact wording, in the exact language, inshallah. And we try to supplicate, call out to Allah in the same wording for that is indeed an act of worship. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us our prayers. Now one might say, one might say that the prayer I have is not there. I want to ask for this. And I don't think that that is there in the Quran. Believe me, you will be shocked and amazed at, as to what type of supplications are mentioned in the Quran as well as in the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sought protection from laziness, yet he was not lazy. He asked for forgiveness, yet he did not need it. He asked for guidance, yet he did not need it. He asked to be protected from credit and from debt. Yet he did not need it. One of the reasons why he was made to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all these questions or all these prayers, all these supplications that he himself really did not need was because he was a perfect example for all of us. If we follow his example, we will naturally make the same supplications we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept us all.